Hey everybody, it's me, Remy, the comic book poser, and I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Poseverse. I know I missed one or two weeks of, of FOC videos because I got busy with getting ready to go to school, traveling, conferences, and all that fun stuff, but to find out what you should call your LCS on Monday, the 16th of August, an order, or put in through whatever portal you have a pull list on, and you should check it out after this. Alright, so just like in my uh, first video, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about titles that I'm going to pick up or drop. Um, and there are a couple of books coming out uh, in this cycle that I just haven't been reading, so we'll see what we think. Uh, but we're starting with Image, uh, and Top Row, I have not read Deadly Class or Excellence at all, so if you think these are titles that uh, I might get into, then definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, below. Uh, we got some trades coming up. Uh, we, we've got the Good Asian Volume 1 trade. We've got the Ha Ha trade. I think I will pick that up. Uh, maybe even both of them. Uh, in addition to having a full run of singles of each of them or just about, because uh, I think there's one more issue of Good Asian to come out. Uh, I haven't read Headlopper, but I've seen those before and I think I, I might uh, pick up uh, at least the first trade. Uh, Helm Great Castle number four comes out. This one was just not for me. Uh, that I can't put a, a thumb on why I didn't like issue number one, uh, but it just didn't resonate with me all that well. But if you read the series uh, and thought issue two and three are worth checking out, then most definitely let me know. I did pick up the Me You Love in the Dark number one, the new Scotty Young series, and I really think the premise of this is interesting in terms of the uh, artist who is trying to figure out you know, what her next great piece of inspiration is, and she moves into this, you know, haunted house, and, you know, you find out, A, whether or not it's haunted, and B, whether or not she can contact a spirit that's in there. Uh, I thought the story in issue number one was okay. I do like uh, some darker Scotty Young art, so it's definitely worth uh, checking out, and uh, here's the cover, or cover A for issue number two, and then I really like the black and white uh, second printing of number one. That's really cool. Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton is something that I initially uh, took a pass on and I don't know why and then I listened to my buddy Dank Comics uh, break it down and I'll attach a link to that video up here. I think it was one of his shit I missed, uh, initially missed out on. Uh, but this is a very fun series. I really like the covers that get put together for this and I think this, uh, you know, New Yorker parody cover is actually pretty cool, so I'm gonna try and pick up both uh, both covers on this one. Uh, and then Trover Saves the Universe. I don't know how or why, but I pulled issue number one. I haven't read it yet, so I think it still might defensively be on my pull list in case I like it or not. From Dark Horse, uh, we got Masters of the Universe Revelation number three. I really have enjoyed the first two issues of this series, and I'm sad that it's only four, uh, but I definitely need to get on checking out uh, the Netflix series that I've heard more good things than bad. Uh, the B cover is also pretty cool. Uh, I have May's book on my poll, and I like both of these covers as well, that uh, I have been converted into a big Jeff Lemire fan, so uh, I will definitely give, give this one a go. Uh, I suck at Overwatch and a lot of modern shooting games, so I didn't read the comic because it makes me uh, feel how, how bad I am. Uh, and then what will always get me yelled at by folks is I have not read uh, very much, if any, Black Hammer. Uh, so you've got the un uh, Unbelievable Unteens uh, issue number two coming out. Uh, so add that to your pool as well. All right, from IDW, uh, Canto 3 number three is due in for orders on Monday. I dropped this series. I might be the only one who can't fully get on... Uh, the Kanto hype train, that I really like Kanto 1, I like the one shot, and then as we went through Kanto 2, it was just one of those things that didn't sing with me, so uh, I, I apologize, you can yell at me and tell me why I'm wrong uh, in, in the comments below. Uh, but we got some Star Wars and some Star Trek coming out, we've got the Jenica 2 trade paperback, and then we've got number 4 of the last Ronin, 
uh, do up as well, and I think that cover with the with the broken bow staff on it is kind of cool. That I might try and uh, pick up a couple of these because if it's how Donnie goes down, he is my my favorite turtle, and I know he's pulled from Comic Burrito's favorite turtle because that's the right answer to the recruitment questions once you get on their Discord. Boom Studios, uh, we've got the wrap of Eve, book number five. The covers look amazing. I really uh, have gotten hooked to this story, I think. Uh, you know, like I've referenced the, the blog post in the week that issue number three was coming out that I compared what happens in Eve to what happens to Sam Rockwell uh, in Moon. Uh, that I want to see if this incarnation of Eve can save the world or if it's really a, a pointless endeavor. And then we've got uh, Mighty Morphin number 11. I am far behind on this series, but I am still pulling it. So I will be getting definitely the A cover. And then I like the B cover that still keeps the legacy numbering uh, from, from the Boom series. So that's cool. And I actually like the kind of prismatic background on the FOC reveal variant. So I might see if I can pick one of those up. Uh, and then the comics and graphic novels section down here is just like the miscellaneous. Um, so from Vault, you've got the third printing of Barbaric number one, uh, the deluxe black and white edition of uh, number two, and there's a black bag variant, so I will probably try and pick one or both of those up. Bell Headless Horseman from Zenoscope. I've been enjoying more Zenoscope books than I thought I would, so I'll probably sit down and read the story on that one and figure it out. I have Dead Box number one on the pool poll from Vault Comics that they are absolutely crushing uh, the horror game right now. I think cover A is cool, and you can see that there are four. Uh, uh, there's C, which it looks like a monkey trying to poke a vending machine or a red box, so that's kind of cool. Oh, number one and number two are both up for FOC. I should probably read titles before I talk about that. Alright, anything else that sticks out to me, and if I pass over, it's just because I have not looked into it, uh, or it's something that I, you know, did take a peek at, and it was not uh, my cup of tea. Uh, I'm sad that this says the complete Hollow Heart trade paperback uh, because I really, really like this series. I will probably pick up the trade as well. Uh, but these were all great series that if you missed out on Hollow Heart, I Walk With Monsters, or Knockin' Dead, uh, three great series from either Vault or Aftershock. Uh, the last book you'll ever read, uh, number one, second printing is up. And then issue number two, ooh, a Jen Hickman cover, the B cover. I'm definitely going to try and get it, get that one as well. Ooh, and there's a black bag variant, so uh, I will try and grab that as well. That if it's the, the vault undressed, that yes, they may be a little risque, but I have enjoyed the ones that, that have come out. Uh, oh, there are two black bag variants. And it doesn't tell you who the, or the artist is on either one. Not All Robots number two uh, is up for FOC. I really enjoyed the first issue of this book. I know that both Cole and I talked about it on uh, the This Week in Comics when I was up in uh, Grand Rapids for my mini vacation before conference. Uh, from 10 Speed Press on, on Tyranny, uh, the hardcover graphic novel comes out. Uh, I picked up the free comic book day version of this yesterday, and I think it was pretty intriguing. Uh, we got to see if it's it's forty dollars out of pocket intriguing, uh, or if there will be a, a soft cover coming out that will probably be closer to twenty twenty five dollars. I missed out on Rock Stars from Vault, so I'll probably pick this up because I've been enjoying everything that they do. Uh, David Pepos and Team Scout Honors, Scouts Honor Trade from Aftershock comes out. This is in the running for one of my 10 favorite series of the year. Anything else? White number three. Uh, I know that getting hands on these have been uh, fairly difficult that I have a first and second printing of one and a first printing of number two. So I'm hoping that I get that number three to add. Uh, Witch Blood number six from Vault. There are a handful of covers uh, for this one. It looks like there's a Yoshitani cover and two Lisa Sturl covers. 
Uh, but this has been a wild ride looking into, and it's uh, Matthew Ehrman, and you know how, how much I like just the wild, wild world uh, that, that he creates, and I think Lisa does an amazing job uh, with the art in that series. So anything that you're super excited that's coming out uh, that is due or with, that has orders due on Monday, uh, anything you think I should pick up that I scrolled past, anything that I said that I was into that you think I should run away from, as always, let me know in the comments down below. But as always, y'all, thanks for stopping by, and have a good one.